hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl pretty fresh and i'm back with another video for the channel if you're new to this channel please kindly hit the subscribe button like and um comment down below what you think about the video so without further ado let's get into the video so from the title of this video you're going to see that i'll be reacting to the most creative people like people with amazing skills from different places so it's just a reaction video so i'll be screen recording here so let's just get into it okay so i have my system here so if i'm looking towards you just know that i'm reacting to the video i'm watching so let me start screen recording okay let's get into it mm, no sound yeah I'm Okay, it's just the adverts. I might get the one to just get disgusted with this twenty adverts. If you're in need of a little artistic inspiration, you can usually find bucket loads of incredible talent just a few clicks away. Having such a gold mine at your fingertips can feel slightly overwhelming, though. So I've rounded up some of the most creative people with seriously next-level skills for your viewing pleasure. Thank me later. The humble pencil is a trusty instrument used by a whole range of creative geniuses. But Russian sculptor and artist Salavad Fadai sees the pencil as the art form itself. With some major concentration and the most delicate hand, Fadai uses sharp scalpels to carve away the graphite as if he were working with chunks of wood. In his most impressive creations, Fadai works with the sharp tip of the pencil itself to create anything from tiny ice cream cones to SpongeBob. Of course, when working with such a brittle material, things don't always go to plan. So this art form requires a whole load of patience. Wow. He actually uses a tip of a pencil. Do we have a pencil in this house? The tip of a pencil to create that's a skull's head. Wow, that's that's amazing. Like so people are talented and forget. To oh, most yeah. people, paper is the canvas art is made on. Turkish artist Sina Runa, however, turns paper into the art itself by creating well, dynamic I'll and colorful sculptures with a whole and just host of origami-like elements. By intricately paper. twisting, folding, and stacking layers of colorful craft paper using tweezers, Runa slowly turns this what? traditional 2D medium into eye-popping 3D sculptures which look like delicate illustrations come to life. Wait, this Runa is the beautiful. Runa to devote herself to these quilled paperworks full-time in 2015, and she's even written a whole book on the art form. I wish I knew how to do all these things. Of all the things you might consider making art out of, the fruit and veg from your own kitchen probably isn't one of them. Self-taught sculptor Vincenzo Scarucci sees the untapped potential in these humble food products as he uses various knives and scalpels to scoop out their fleshy insides and turn these everyday objects into insane natural sculptures. Among many other things, Scarucci has turned avocados into bunny rabbits or puzzles and transformed apples into pop culture legends, proving that fruit and veg is about as versatile as it gets. Good luck beating him in a pocket yeah, garbage. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Takahiro Kishimoto is another artist who likes to play with his food. Kishimoto practices the ancient art of Thai food. Be right back, you guys. Okay. This is a food. Embroidery is an underappreciated art form many consider a pastime of bored old ladies. But self taught Malaysian artist Sheena Liam proves the naysayers. This name's a weird twist on like, such Not like that weird, but. Pieces. She uses her signature common. emerald thread to create hand embroidered portraits that jump off the canvas with clever 3D elements. Each piece is so strikingly well executed that they're enough to give any woman some serious hair envy. I love this. this Would you finish a refreshing drink of soda? 
you probably wouldn't think twice about throwing the can in the recycle bin. For American sculptor and artist Noah Deletta, on the other hand, no. wasting such a precious artistic material would be a crime. In his most famous works, Deletta aims to recontextualize the purpose of this ordinary object by exploring as many different ways to reimagine the standard soda can as possible. Oh my possible. god, I love this deco. Oh, it's a bad part. I really get irritated seeing all this advert. Deletta uses nothing but his own hands to manipulate the surface into ripples, intricate indentations, and endlessly satisfying patterns. Next time you grab a soda, I'll give it a go yourself. I'm gonna try this. I'm maybe gonna try this so that I'm gonna mess it up. I know myself. Who said to be a great painter you have to be able to whip up the next Mona Lisa? Just ask abstract artist Callan Shaw. Okay, let's just take a quick break. Um, if you just came across my video, I'm precious. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is my first time doing a reaction video. Like, I've never even watched this because, like, I don't really have the time to sit and start watching it. But I was like, why not just do a reaction video and hold on? So, it's really interesting watching this things with you guys. So, I think I'll be doing more of a reaction video because I really enjoyed this one. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, just take a little break, go back down there. Subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. Let's get back to the video. Who's made a career out of making a beautiful mess. The process behind Shop's paintings is literally hypnotic to watch, as he often uses spinning canvases and brightly colored paints to create haphazard masterpieces. Rather than using brushes, Shop comes up with unconventional methods like a swinging pendulum to get paint onto the canvas, and the results are always as unique as they are stunning. Carrie's artwork is definitely not something you'd want to experience while drunk. Believe it or not, these uber trippy illusions are actually entire rooms that you could walk right into. Although you'd probably fall over while trying. How does one man turn a blank white room into something out of a Lewis Carroll novel, you ask? The answer is pretty simple. Duct tape. Lots and lots of duct tape. With a keen eye for geometrical shapes and patterns, Carrie is able to arrange strips of tape with such precision that he can turn almost any room into a swirling interdimensional portal. Each tessellation is totally unique to each space. Just don't stare at it for too long. <laughs> Speaking of artists who are able to pull the wool over our eyes with their next level talent, check out the work of Felix Semper. You might think you're looking at any old sculpture, but each one of Semper's pieces has a hidden secret. They can stretch to insane lengths before snapping right back into shape again. Using thousands Wait, of layers what? of glued paper, books, cards, and recycled material arranged in an accordion-like structure, Whoa. Semper has created anything from easy sneakers to soda bottles and bags of Lay's, which seem to melt to the touch. Now, oh my god, I love snacks. this. Makeup is a growing online art form, and tons of talented individuals have proven that it can be so much more than just a bit of lipstick and mascara. Take a look at Vanessa Davis, for example, who uses her own face as a canvas for some seriously mind-blowing artistic transformations. Whoa. Sometimes, Davis uses makeup and face paint to create her own uncanny renditions of famous artworks, while other times she uses 3D elements and accessories to transform her head into anything from a zombie pizza slice to a skeleton pineapple. There's no telling what I'm not gonna eat that kind of pizza. Next. Multiple personalities never look so chic. Wow. Forget people have talents like people. While Davis's have face talent. is her own art form, Ivory Coast artist Leticia Kelly. Oh, this girl, I've seen her video somewhere on YouTube. Kai began exploring hair as a creative medium in 2017. Like she's on dread. A series of enthralling hair sculptures soon gained her some serious social media notoriety. By turning her hair into anything from a pair of hands to a broken heart or even a map of Africa, Leticia Kai attempts to stand up against stereotypical notions of beauty, especially by encouraging women of color to embrace their natural gifts. If you had any doubts about Kai's incredible talent, ask yourself, when was the last time you were able to skip using only your own hair? Wow. 
She made so many things with her hair. When I watched it on YouTube, she made um. A girl on a bicycle. She made a house. She made um, different maps of different countries. In her work, Mirdi is able to fuse her two passions together by using leaves to create beautiful imprints in each of her hand-thrown pieces, from bowls to outdoor decorations. Each freshly cut leaf is pressed firmly into the soft clay to leave a lasting impression of nature's beauty once carefully. Every day, I die over and over again. We peeled off. Cami Meerdink isn't the only one to recognize the satisfying results that can be gained by marrying art with nature. Take a look at this skilled worker who uses the unconventional material of large banana leaves to create a perfect cast out of sand and cement, which will later make a killer water feature. Once it's set, the amazingly accurate 3D leaf can be painted, varnished, and then transformed into a statement piece fit for any garden. Who needs next level carving skills when nature has all the tools you need? Okay. Wow, that's some creative people out there. Wow, I'm amazed. I just wish I was very creative with, you know, all this artwork stuff. So, that's all for today's reaction video. If you enjoyed the video, tell me which part of the videos do you enjoy? Maybe this part or the part where the girl could use her hair for anything or the part where um, um, the man used um, can can dreams to make different things which part of the videos did you enjoy tell me down in the comment section and i'll tell you the part i enjoyed more so thank you very much for watching this video it's your girl pretty pressed and i'll be upload i'm sorry that it's been like months two months that i haven't uploaded as y'all know i'm a student so like i had a lot a lot but now my semester has closed Oh, we're done for the semester so i pray i'll be acting so thank you very much for watching this video i really really appreciate please share with your family and friends tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, to tell a friend. love y'all